Welcome to the second part of our wall framing tutorial. This section will focus on editing the wall framing, however it will only cover the specific commands for the wall panel system. An accompanying video that looks at more general framing tools that can be used across the whole of our panelization systems is also available. Our software has a wide range of framing accessories, with their availability being customization dependent. These are accessed from the wall panels menu in the modeling tab and framing accessories. Bracing, for instance, is added via double clicking the bracing type you want to add, then selecting the panel. You are then prompted to select your first point, which will always be the lower point, then up to the higher second point. BD will ultimately put in the brace with relevant connections also added. Wind bracing can also be added from here in a similar method. A truss lintel type can also be added. Again, double click and the parameters come up. Here you can define the maximum web spacing as well as the orientation of these. Click OK, then choose the panel. Now just click in the space you want to add the lintel to and it is added with connections. Panel labels can be added into the 3D framing model from general arrangement. Double click, then choose the panel and confirm. Next, Add in two points with the direction determining which side of the panel the label is added to. Finally, extra profiles including backers, studs and blockings can be added from the studs folder. As an example, I will use blocking but the others are added in a similar way. First double click the thumbnail and select the panel. The system will automatically pick up the profile type as shown in the pop-up. However, this can be easily changed using the select button. You can then define placement, however with the profile going into a panel, it's best to keep this as middle. Opening just controls which side the web is on, and there is a toggle option to automatically add connections. Click OK, and now simply draw a line where the piece is to be added. Connections can then be added if necessary. This concludes the second part of our wall framing video series. Please see the video on panel drawings to finish the wall framing. 